results. We would show you how to load the data into Tableau. And then we could also see some of the relationships between the different tables present in our data. And then we'd also look at um, what is a dimension and what's a measure, right? And how those two, should I call them parameters um, or elements, how they look like on, on Tableau. Okay, so we'd start with the data. So we're using um, one of the uh, most popular uh, or really popular um, data that's always used on Tableau. It's a fictitious um, supermarket um, sales data. And I have it here on my GitHub um, page. <clears throat> we'll put a link of the a link to the data set on the YouTube description. So please you can you can take a look at it there and um, download the superstore um, data and basically just follow along um, as we go through this data visualization process. <clears throat> okay, so the other thing I like to do is to basically like look at what kind of data I'm dealing with, right? Just basically just review the, the Excel file. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. So I have an understanding of the, the kind of features we have, the, the number of rows, the number of columns, um, are there more sheets in our um, Excel file? What do the sheets mean and things of that nature, right? So I see here that we have three um, sheets, which basically relates to three different tables. So this Excel file from this um, superstore has three tables. The first table is the orders, right? And <clears throat> I believe this contains all of the orders that the customers have bought from the supermarket, or basically all of the orders that the custom that the supermarket has fulfilled to their respective customers, right? So we could see the row ID, the order ID, the order date, the ship date, the kind of shipping they use, the customer ID, and so on, right? So basically, we have let's see, we have twenty one rows. Right. We could also see the, the sales, the quantity, the discount, and the profit they've made based on each sale, right? So we have 21 rows and 995, sorry, 21 columns and 995 rows, right? That's basically um, what we have here. So it's a pretty decent um, data size. And hopefully we could get a lot of insights from... Um, the visualizations that we create today, All right? <clears throat> the next sheet is the returns, right? And we could see um, all the different orders that were returned. So it's just two columns. Okay, so we could basically say 207 um, rows. I could filter this, just filter it. Okay, so basically everything here is the products that have been returned, right? So you would notice something that we have a primary key here, which is the order ID, right? So we could use this to map it back to the others, right? And know what customer returned what product, right? And then the last um, table we have is called people, right? So we could see the different um, persons as well as their regions, right? So now that we have some basic idea about our data, we can then go ahead to import it into um, uh, into Tableau. All right, so we've reviewed the data. The next thing we need to do now is load the data into Tableau. So I'm gonna go to my Tableau. So once you open Tableau, remember this is that welcome page or connect page or discover page, right? You get to see the views of the day. And then over on this on this pane, you get to connect your data if it's an Excel or text file or what, what can, any kind of file that you have. But this is where you basically connect it, right? So I'll click on Microsoft Excel. And then that's my data there. 
open it up. Okay, so my data is loaded, right? So you could see the three sheets we have, which is basically the three tables we're dealing with. Orders, people, returns, right? So now here's here's where I need everyone to, to pay attention, right? If you just get excited, oh, I've loaded my data, and then you jump over to sheet one, you're not going to see any tables here, right? Or you're not going to see the, the, the parameters or the measures or the dimensions. You're not going to see anything there, right? And you would see this, um, exclamation mark here, right? When you hover around it, you can see what Tableau tells you. There was a problem connecting to the data source, right? Try editing the data source. So you're having that error because you haven't loaded a particular table into Tableau. You've only imported the data. So you're not done with the connection process for your data. So let's go back to data source. So now what you want to do is depend on the table that you're working with or the sheet that you're working with, you need to drag that sheet over to this um, blank space here. You can see it says drag tables here. So that's what you want to do. So now we drag the others table and drop it there and you let it load. So now you have your table in Tableau, right? So we could remember we saw 21 um, columns and then 994 um, rows. So we have all of that in here. You could see everything, right? So the other thing I like about Tableau is that it tells you which one is a quantitative and which one is a qualitative variable, right? So you could see that the row ID is kind of quantitative, right? That's why it has that um, hashtag symbol there, right? But then you can see this one is, is qualitative because it's ABC, right? And then the others is kind of a date stuff. So the date, it shows you there with a, like a calendar um, symbol. And then all the other ones that are um, uh, uh, qualitative, it also shows you the ABC there. And then you could see the one that is a geography, right? You have that map there to show you, hey, this is a geographical data, right? The postal code, the state, the city, and so on, right? So, um, and then... You could see some more quantitative um, data, which we would we would talk about um, very soon. Okay, now the other thing I want to um, let you guys know is you could bring in more tables into into this particular area, right? So let's say we wanted to to bring in the returns, right? So you just drag it in there right? and watch what Tableau does. So remember, the returns also had a column called order ID. So it's going to use the relationship from joins to basically join those two tables together based on the primary key, right? So others had a primary key called order ID, right? And returns also had a primary key called order ID. So now it's going to join those two tables on that primary key called order ID, right? So that's basically what it's going to do. So all right, so I just wanted to show um. Oh yeah, so the relationship. So you can see it here, right? Other ID from others and then um, other ID from returns, right? That's basically what it's doing there. So you could see the performance to many to many, right? You could see the cardinality and all those different things, right? So please take note um, of that. And then you can change the operator if you, if, you, if you do not want it as equal to, if you want it less than or whatever, you could change all of the operators. All right, so I'm going to take this out because we don't need it right now. So I'm just going to remove that. Okay, so now if we go to sheet one, remember earlier on with that, we had that exclamation mark saying that our data source had not been connected. Now that exclamation mark has basically disappeared. So now we have our data source properly connected and we could see all of the different um, uh, features or entities present in our table, right? Now, the other thing you notice is that the entities are basically divided into two, right? 
there's this top part that are all in blue and then this down part is all in um, green. So you might be wondering, what are they, right? So <clears throat> I'm going to minimize this and put it away. Okay, so we're done with number one and two. So number three is where we are at right now, which is the dimensions and measures, right? The blue um, items here are basically called dimensions and then the green are called measures, right? So the dimensions are basically qualitative values, right? So things that are names, um, dates, region, um, uh, uh, ship mode, state, all those different things, right? Anything in blue, it's 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 basically a dimension, right? Um, those are uh, qualitative values, right? And we could use dimensions to categorize or segment or review the details, um, in your in your data, right? And then dimensions also affect the level of detail that you have in in your in your view. So that's basically a quick overview of what the dimensions all of these um, items here are. Now below it, we have some other items in green, right? And we call them measures. And measures basically contain numeric quantitative values that you can measure, right? So basically anything you can aggregate, anything you can add or subtract or divide or multiply or uh, and so on and so forth, right? We cannot, um, we cannot add qualitative uh, variables. Right, but we can definitely add any variable that is quantitative, right? So um, when you drag the dimensions into the workspace here, right, you have a, a blue peel, right? So anytime you see a blue peel, know that that's dealing with a dimension. But when you drag the measure into the workspace here, it gives you a green peel. So let me show you what I mean. So if I take segment and I drag it up here, it gives me a blue peel, right? Because that is a dimension. But if I take a measure and drag it up here, you could see it gives me a green, um, it gives me a green peel, right? So that is a, a measure, right? So please take note um, of that. And then the other thing is when you drag a measure into the view, Tableau automatically applies a, an aggregation um, a method, right? Or an aggregation function to the to the measure. So if you if you look up here. Right, I drag the profit measure in there and Tableau already applies an aggregation um, function called sum, right? Basically find the total of all the profits. So that's basically what it, it did there. All right, so um, I just wanted to give you guys some quick overview of what a dimension is and what a measure is and what color the peels for those two different um, elements take. So we we'll, would we'll use all of those dimensions and, and peels as we, as we go through um, the different charts that we'll be creating. So I think we're creating eight of them.